Hi everyone, this is Lori from Happy Birds Glitter Nest. And do you remember the last video I made? I showed you how to make these little butterflies with your butterfly punch. And we used um, the pet stickers on them. Well, they turned out really cute. And so I decided to make um, a base to showcase the little butterflies. And it's very easy. I'll show you how to make it. Now, um, if you didn't catch my tutorial, you can um, click on the link in the Show More drop-down bar below. I'll have this link there for you. Okay, so I'm going to set these aside for a moment. And I'm going to show you the tag I made. And it's very sturdy. made a little oval gift bag tag and it has sparkle to it and I didn't use any glitter I'll show you what I used for that I think it turned out very pretty though and um, here's the back and like I said you can use this to hang on a gift bag or turn it into an ornament you can use this any way you'd like to use it and so I'll show you what I did now the first thing I did was I took my two and a half inch oval punch. Okay, now if you don't have oval, you can use circle. You know, it, it doesn't matter. But I like the look of the oval, and um, I bought this Paper Studio paper punch a couple years back at Hobby Lobby. They had it on clearance, and it was three dollars, which was absolutely unheard of. So I grabbed it. Now. I'm not sure if they have any more oval punches in a different brand, but I do know that on Amazon they carry the two and a half inch oval punch, and um, they also carry a three inch. And I think I might invest in that since I'm planning on doing Christmas videos again this year. So um, anyway, you're going to need um, a total of four punches. Okay, not not punches, but cardstock punches. <laughs> You're going to punch out three of the um, 80 pound white cardstock ovals. Okay. Now, I purchased this Paper Studio brand at Hobby Lobby. I never pay full price. It, this All the Paper Studio things go on sale a couple of times a month at Hobby Lobby. I wait till it's 50% off. But I do love their 80 pound cardstock. It's nice and sturdy. So you're going to need three ovals out of that. And then you're going to need one oval from the Diamond Print um, Glitter White Glitter cardstock. This is by Pen and Gear. You find it at Walmart where all the copier paper is and the labels and such. And um, this is a Print Me Shed Free um, Glitter Card Stock. You can actually print on this with your inkjet printer. And I used this quite often last Christmas for the back of my ornaments because it gave it a nice finish and it doesn't shed. And this was a little over $6. The price goes up and down on those from time to time. Okay, so what I did was I took my Fabri-Tac and I glued together my three ovals and um, the glittered cardstock as well. That's the back, okay? And I placed it flat with a very heavy book on top and I let it dry, okay? So now we have this and once it, this glue dries it becomes pretty sturdy. Now the next thing we're going to do is I took this white glittered vinyl, just a piece of it. They carry these in sheets at Hobby Lobby. It's where the glittered fun foam is and, and all that other stuff. Felt squares. But this is the glittered vinyl and I chose white um, because I knew that would make the butterflies pop. You don't want to choose any colored vinyl because um, if you do that it kind of swallows the butterfly up 
because all you can see is the flashy glitter color, if that makes sense. <laughs> so um, I'm using white. And I'm just going to take my fabric tack and on the plain white cardstock side, I'm going to be going around the edges here because those edges are really what's most important. And then put some in the middle. Okay. Now I'm just going to place this like that, all right? And I'm going to place a book over it and let this dry for oh about 20 minutes or so. And then we'll be back and I'll show you what else we'll do. Okay, so now we're going to flip this over where we can see the back. And we're just going to I'm going to hold my scissors um, at just a slight tilt and we're going to slowly cut around this. I'm just leaning my scissors up against the edge of the um, oval. I'm just going to cut that off and I'm using my detail scissors to do this. And I'm just taking little cuts and going around slowly. Okay. Hold on for a second. Okay, so we cut all the vinyl off and you just want to make sure that um, there's no little tiny pieces that you still have to to cut to make it look even. I think this actually turned out really well. And you can see how it sparkles. And it's not going to come off the vinyl. The glitter isn't. So I'm going to set this aside. And then I have a piece of white lace. I, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And their fabrics usually go on sale for 40% off a couple of times a month. So um, I'm just making sure this is the shiny side. That's the side you want up. And, you know, generally when they have their fabrics on sale, I'll go through the fabric department and I'll find um, really fun laces or um, just different textures of fabrics that I can use in my crafting. And I'll get like a quarter of a yard, and it's 40% off. So you can end up picking up um, little pieces to play with like this for a dollar or less than two dollars. So um, I think what I'm going to do is take this fabric pack first, and just around the edges, right now, you're just going to make little little dots just like this tiny little dots and this will dry clear now in the middle I might make a few dots here and there but not a ton and then I'm just going to to lay this fabric here eh, maybe like like that I'm just gonna pat it and I'm going to allow that to dry, and then we'll come back and um, cut that out. Okay, so now we're going to take our um, detail scissors. And I'm going to cut around this. Just going to lay our scissors right against this um, cardstock. And just go all the way around. Alright, and don't 
worry about the little edges because you're going to go back in and just kind of shave those off with your scissors. Get all the little fuzzies off. That's why it's so important to have the glue down right along the edge here. You don't want any of that coming up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good from what I can see. You can play with it if you want, but this is the beginning of our base. All right. Now, um, this part is really important. You want to put the hole here first before you do anything else. So if you don't have a crop a dial, um, that use anything you can <laughs> to poke a hole. You want it fairly close, but not so close that that's going to rip or weaken um, the structure. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it to see roughly where it would be, and I think that's actually pretty good right here in the middle, because you want it, um, so I'm, I'm going to take my bottle cap hole punch, and I'm going to punch through like that, see, you can see the back, and I might snip this off, and of course if you have a crocodile, you don't have to worry about all this, but not everybody has a crocodile, so... So the next thing I'm going to do to make this just slightly wider, not too wide, but just slightly wider, is I'm going to take my sewing awl and I'm going to hold it like this and just gently kind of give it a twist. You don't want the hole huge, but you want to be able to, to put some thread through this. So I'm using my gold beading thread. I bought this at Michael's years and years ago. And it has taken me forever <laughs> to go through this. And I believe it or not, I think they still have it. It's it's not a thin gold thread. It's nice and sturdy. And I love it. I might have to make a trip to Michael's. Okay, I'm just folding this in half. You can always slip a piece of wire through here and fold it the wire over and use it as kind of a needle to thread this bit. I'm just doing it like this for now. At least I thought it was. Okay, so maybe I'll show you the the wire trick. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I just cut a piece of wire and uh, I'm going to bend this in, in half like that. And you see how I have the, the cord in here and everything. Flatten that as much as I can. All right, then I'm going to stick this in and pull this through. Should be able to go through. Here we go. Now, I'm going to take my wire off at this point. Okay. And I'm going to try to straighten this up and then I'm going to slip this through the loop. Like that. There we go. So then that's the top. Okay, so now we know where the top is. So, move all this stuff out of the way. The next thing we're going to use is some of this. Um, four millimeter pearl trim 
and this is you can buy this at Hobby Lobby and you get 24 feet okay this is just the white pearls now I never pay that I always wait for all of the trims ribbons and tool to go on sale twice a month for about 40% off you can get it so that's when you stock up and for this particular trim I cut 35 pearls now if you are using a different brand other than this then I would definitely um, check to see how much you'll need because that can vary depending on you know the brand so we're gonna go what we want to do is we want to glue this with a fabric tack all the way around like this with this right here in the middle okay so I'm going to start by grabbing my fabric tack and just right along the edge starting here at the top gosh I'm so shaky and I'm gonna go halfway around and then I'm going to place the pearls down like this halfway around and make sure that they're flat make sure you're doing this on a flat surface so it'll be nice and even. Okay. Now you can see how things are going by doing this. Looks pretty good. I can actually scoot this up a little more, a little closer to that gold um, string. Okay lay it flat. Alright, so I'm just going to allow the fabric tack on this to dry just a little bit before I continue because I want it just to be tacked on so I can pick it up and, and work with it. Okay. All right, and then we'll be back and we'll finish the rest. Okay, so this dried and it's only been a couple of minutes. It's not complete, but it's dried enough where I can continue. Okay, and this is why you want to use fabric tack on this um, rather than hot glue, because you use hot glue, you know, it they don't it doesn't give you much time at all to move things around or make things even, and it's stuck before you know it and then your project is a mess. Okay. Oop. Okay. Okay, I have this flat. I have to put more glue. Here though, so I'm going to move this gold thread out of the way for a second. Okay, I must have missed that part. There we go, I think. <laughs> Alright, I might have to hold it there for just a second. Yeah, alrighty, there we go. Everything is nice and flat, which is what you want. I'm just going to let this dry a little bit. Alright, and once the pearls are completely dry all the way around, then I'll be back again and we'll start gluing things onto the front. Okay, so now we're going to put our little elements on here. It actually looks best with three elements, um, but I consider this charm here an element by itself. So. I'm going to be using the butterfly as actually two elements because when you lay it down you can see that it's on its own it's large enough to be an element in itself and then I'm just going to add this at the top so I figure we have one two three elements 
So I, you can put the butterfly straight if you want. I kind of like it at a tilt. So I'm going to get an idea, a rough idea of where I want to put this and how far I want to tilt it before I start actually gluing. Okay, so I think about here looks pretty good. Um, okay, I'm going to turn this over and as you can see I'm putting a pretty good amount of glue right here in the middle. All right, I'm not going crazy with the glue but pretty good amount. You want to be careful, you don't want to glue this charm down, you want this to be able to move. And so we had it like this and yeah, about here, I believe. Maybe over a little bit. Yeah, and then we have our little dangle charm down there. So I place it about here and I'll go ahead and, and glue the rows. Now I did get these little tiny roses from Hobby Lobby and these are the Prima brand. Yeah, isn't that cute? turned out really cute. So I'm going to allow this to dry. Put the cap back on my glue. And I did cut um, the tag. I, I do this to remind myself a lot of times what brand it is and where I purchased it. So this was just part of what was on top of the um, bag topper. It didn't come like this in a jar. I, I put that I put these in this jar. But this is what they look like. They're very small. Okay. Alright, so this is pretty much it. And I thought it turned out very nice. If you'd like, you can add a touch of glitter with your stickles or something like that if you'd like. But I thought it looked pretty just like this, so I I just left it alone. But um, anyway, very easy to do. Just basically the drawing time here and there. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, you take care. And I should be posting more tutorials soon. So I want to put a few out um, before Christmas or before I start my Christmas videos. And um, I know you might think it's a little too soon to be thinking about this, but you know, we're going to be in July pretty soon, then it's July, August, boom. <laughs> so with that said, you take care and have a blessed day. God bless you all. Bye-bye.